users can now import purchase orders and upload inventory CSVs using the Hotwax Commerce import app. In this video, I'll give you a quick demo of how to use the import app. Let us log in to our import app using the launch pad. Here is our import app and we click here. We're already logged in and here you will see four pages which have different features. Let's go to the settings page first. Here you can see a go to OMS link where you can directly go to the OMS that you're logged in. You can change the time zone. You can also update the date format for your CSV. For example, if you're uploading a file with a date format of MDDYY, you can just simply click here and edit and click on save. This way, the import app allows you to import CSVs with any date formats. Here, you will go to the purchase order and click on upload. Let's select the file from our system. Here you will see this, these fields become active after uploading the purchase order. Now, these fields are given here to, for you to map the fields with your CSV. This way you can use any CSV format that is from your supplier and import the purchase order in Hotwax systems. You just need to map the fields on the left with the fields in your CSV. For example, the order ID is the external ID in my CSV. The Shopify product queue is the product queue. Arrival date is arrival date. Order quantity is quantity and facility ID is facility ID. You can also Select these and click on new mapping to save a mapping. This way you do not have to se select all these fields every time that you upload a purchase order. And you click on review. Let us see. Uh, here you will see the product queue or the product identifier, the category, the quantity ordered and the date. If there is a date error, you will see invalid date time error here and this upload button will be disabled. There are a lot of features here to edit the purchase order from this page. Let us go and see bulk adjustment. You can add buffer days um, for your purchase order. For example, if you want to add seven days to your order and you're not very sure about the arrival date and want to play safe, you can add buffer days of seven here. And you can also add order buffer for the quantity that you have ordered. You can change the category that you're uploading a product in and you can select the facility from here and click on save. Now here you can select the, you can edit the missing products. If there are any products that are not associated in hot wax commerce, you can simply click here and the line item will appear. You can select it and a purchase, you can input the SKU here and click on update. The automatically product will go into the completed tab and you will click on save. Similarly, if there is any facility that is not associated, you can select the facility from here. Now, you can select, if there are multiple items in the purchase order, you can select all from here and you can reset all the changes made in the purchase order from here. When you click on upload, this file will automatically be uploaded in Hotwax Commerce OMS. You can view from here and you will be taken to the OMS and here you will see the status of the file pending and then it will be automatically finished. Similarly, you can use the inventory page to upload the inventory CSV into Hotwax Commerce. It will reset the inventory for the product that you have uploaded for. This way, import app can be used for both inventory and purchase orders for ease and convenience. For more information on Hot Wax Commerce, visit our website at hotwax.co or you can visit our forum at forum.hotwax.io.